All right, y'all, welcome back to Outside the Levees. We're down here in South Louisiana, and I'm your host, Jared Serenade, and I got rabbits on the brain. We got a pack of beagles. We got some hunters who are ready to shoot. We're just going to jump right into the action. There's no point in fluffing this up. Let's just get right into it. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah, they got him. Oh. Yeah. All right. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Ah, uh -uh. hey. All right. All right, y'all. We got that one. Took three shots, but we got him. They got a nice briar patch right up here, guys. I'll try to walk the dogs to it. That's another one. Watch out there, puppy. Find him. Yep. Find him. Maybe he went that way, I think. I saw something. Way out, crossed way out. Straight to the. He was as far as I could see, just shooting across. Straight lining. Straight line. All right, y'all. Well, we got a big uh, front about to come through. Weather warnings all across the country. In fact, the boys are getting out of school early. It's just that bad. And what that means for me, no fishing today. It's not going to happen. It's not worth it. And it's just simply not safe. But I did find a way for me to scratch a little bit of that fishing itch with something called Fishing Clash. That's right, I downloaded this game on my phone and it is super, super fun. And that works out well because the sponsor of today's video is Fishing Clash. All right, so what sold me on this game was it's the actual species that I like to fish for, not some imaginary fish, the fish that you and I grew up going after, the ones that we love to eat, and they're all in the game. And the cool thing is they've got locations 
all around the world and every location has species that are specific to that location. So places I might not ever really get to fish, I can do it on Fishing Clash. And it's so realistic. You have to go through the ups and downs. You're gonna miss fish. They're not always gonna bite. So it's like not automatic, which makes it really cool. Or some of those more exotic species that you don't get to fish for, you get to learn about those too. And you can upgrade your fishing gear, which we all love to do, right? And you can even build a fishing village. Imagine if you could do that in real life. How cool is that? Now, what keeps you engaged in the game is the competitiveness. It's not like, oh, let me go waste a little bit of time. Everything adds up, your scores, your points, all of those things, and you can fish against anglers all across the world. All right, if you wanna try Fishing Clash, click that link in the description. That'll take you right to download it using my code, or you can click this QR code here in the video. All right, so to get your journey going to Fishing Clash, use my code Fish with Jared to get $20 value rewards. That's gonna get you some power-ups, a mythical lore card, a unique avatar, all for free. You definitely feel the value in the PVP mode when you're fishing against other anglers. Try it out, see if you had as much fun as I did. All right, so get on over to where it is that you download your apps from. Use my code FISH with Jared and download Fishing Clash today. All right, y'all, we putting them to them pretty good right now. As you can hear, these dogs are working hard. Jason Rabbit said they are back there. We're having a blast. We got into a spot, and now we're jumping a bunch of them. Lots of shooting. So much fun. Thank y'all for being with us. I hope you're enjoying it. Listen to that beautiful sound, huh? Couple tree tops. Yep. Find him. Yep. Yep. Find him. There he goes. Going to the bank or buy you. There he goes. Come out the back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoop! Whoop! Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoop! Come on, 
Use zig and you should have zagged. Oh, it's thick. No briar pants. Got him. Dead rabbit. Dead rabbit. Go hunt. Go oh, hunt. Dead rabbit. Got him. It's like a rabbit Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Tempting faith with that tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Wascally wabbit. I got him. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I got one. Yep, obviously it's the one. Dead rabbit. No? I said, I don't know. Yeah, his is still on. You, you the one who shot the rabbit? Yeah. Nice. All right, let's, uh...
Well, what a fun hunt that was. There's nothing, nothing like hearing them dogs running through the woods, chasing a rabbit. Just a special, special thing that if you've done it before, you know, right? When you hear that, it takes you back. You, you, you just, you don't ever forget that sound. If you haven't done it before, you got to see a little bit of what it's like, how exciting it can be, seeing those dogs work doing what they're good at. So just a very special thing. Uh, I do want to say thank you to Kevin. Here comes Milo. Milo, say thank you to Kevin. Say thank you to Mr. Kevin. Thank you. And say thank you to the dogs. <laughs> thank you. You gonna eat some rabbit with me? Uh, nah. No? Okay. Hey, no. It looks like meat. Now shout out to Kevin for bringing those dogs. He takes care of them year round. If you want to do something nice for Kevin and the dogs, I've got, if you go on my Amazon wish list, I've got some dog food that, uh, that, that you could have sent and, and I'll give it to Kevin. I'm gonna hunt with him again, so we'll make sure to hold on to it. Or, or not, just leave him a little thank you in the comments. You know, he, he really takes a lot of pride in his dogs and they are good dogs. So leave him a little comment, let him know. Uh, we appreciate him coming down to hunt with us to make a video for y'all. All right, so I've got my rabbit. This is two rabbits um, kind of quartered out and we're actually gonna do, shout out to Mr. Samuel Nelson who sent in a tortilla press and some tortilla flour from Amazon and we're gonna make some fresh smoked rabbit tacos and some fresh tortillas, which I actually haven't done before. I've done like kind of the halfway where you buy them and you cook them a little bit, but uh, we're gonna make them from scratch. So that's pretty cool, I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm gonna show you all my little workaround that I do for wild game meat. Wild game meat is very lean. So if you were to just throw it on the smoker, um, it can dry out. So there's a little workaround that I use and I'm gonna show to y'all right now. So first thing we gotta do is get this seasoned up. All right, so for my seasoning, I just used a mix of two mixes. That's my boy Hot Rod's Tequila Lime. Uh, it's got a real, you know, kind of tangy flavor to it. And then just my all-purpose Greek Mafia, which to me, it doesn't taste like anything particularly Greek. It's just got some spices, salt and peppers. So I mix those two together. That's what we're rolling with. Want to get these covered up pretty good. When you're smoking anything, I like to put a lot of seasoning. Um, I'm not going to put oil or anything like that on it because I don't mind if it dries a touch because I've got something that's going to add some liquid and some, some uh, juiciness back into it after we're done. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Just need to make sure it's seasoned up good. Now y'all know why Elma Fug was hunting them rabbits so hard. He had to make some smoked rabbit tacos with some fresh homemade tortillas, huh? All right, there it is. And uh, let's go get that smoker ready. I'm gonna let that sit like that in the fridge for about an hour, let that season really bind to it, get down in it. All right, I just got some pellets for this. I don't use the real wood. I think the pellets smoke a little bit better. This is an electric smoker. And I'll drop those in. Drop those in. Now, what I found with this thing, when I first got it, I was like, man, it, it does not put out any smoke. This is terrible. So what I do now is turn it on and then I just run at the highest temperature first to get the smoke going. I think that was what, you know, made the difference was like once I started, put it on four hours just to get it going. Once I started uh, running it at the high temperature first and then dropping down, that's how I get the good smoke. So we'll let that kind of do its thing and go chill out. All right, got that good smoke going now, y'all. Let's get that rabbit in there. All right, close it up. And we're gonna go down to Go down to 220. That's it. All right, we've been going a little bit over an hour. We got some good smoke on that rabbit. Now it's not done. It's not finished. If the, you know, if I check the internal temp, it's not going to be all the way done. But there's a reason for that. We don't want it all the way done. We just want it to get some good smoky flavor. So let's get them out. All right, now we're gonna go back inside with this. All right, now, so we came back inside. I got me a pot, got my oven at 350, and I wanna get all this rabbit laid in that pot. Let me 
pretty big piece. It's gonna have to go right there. There we go. All right, like I said, it is not done. We're gonna go ahead and add water. Got that oven on 350. All right, that's a few cups of water. Put the lid on it, oven at 350, and get it in the oven for an hour. All right, y'all, so it's been about an hour. I pulled my rabbit out, and I wanna put it aside so that it can start to cool off a little bit so that I can handle it. Now, the reason I'm doing this is so I can go ahead and debone my rabbits. I don't wanna cook them uh, until the meat is falling off the bone in the pot because that just puts too many bones in my meat. Also, this gives me a chance to kind of look through and see if I can get any BBs out or anything like that. So let your rabbit cool down. Look at that beautiful stock we got. Check that out. Oh my goodness. We're going to strain that and use that for some gumbo or something really good. But man, oh man, we are getting there, folks. All right, y'all, we got the rabbit taken off of the bone. We're going to get it back down in that beautiful gravy sauce thing we got going on there that stock whatever it comes up to be we're gonna get it back in that back in the oven uh, it's getting tender it's not quite there so i'd say i mean safely honestly we could go an hour at this point all right y'all so this is the uh tortilla flour that mr samuel sent via the amazon wish list if you want to check that out that's in the description below but that's basically what we got here and to make these tortillas fresh which like i said is new i've never done we're gonna go with two and a half cups of this all right i'm gonna throw in a little pinch of salt okay stir up that pinch of salt all right now i'm gonna put in one and two thirds cups of warm water and that is instructions directly from the bag. So let's hope that all works out just like that. That's pretty much it. Seems to be mixed up well. I'm going to get in there and check it out. But and what you're going to want to do is make little balls like that. So I think we're on the right track for sure. All right, y'all. Now the tortilla press is made by Uno Casa. And it came with these little wax paper sheets. I've been... Kind of experimenting and playing around with it a little bit here, trying to figure out what size I want, this and that. So I'm just gonna kind of, I'm winging it here, folks. I'm winging it, I'll be honest. I'm not, uh, nothing about this will be perfect. Certainly is a first time deal. So, but basically the size tortilla I want is about like that, a little bit bigger than a golf ball. And then I just kind of put another sheet on top, drop it down and then press i'm not sure quite how hard i'm supposed to press but uh that is the result right there not too bad and then that's gonna go in your pan all right got my little pan heated up and drop him in i think they said 30 to 45 seconds and then flip it so let's check it out All right, and then I'm just gonna get the tortilla into this towel in the warmer. Look, check it out. Mr. Samuel even sent a nice tortilla warmer. How cool is that, right? <laughs> All right, y'all got our fresh made tortilla, smoked, cooked down rabbit. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna put too, too much on there because I wanna be able to eat about 14 of these, <laughs> but something kind of like that. And then, and we got some salsa verde. Get some salsa verde in there. Like so. Some good, something to just kind of accompany that flavor. Don't need to overdo it. And then finally some queso fresco. 
there we go there it is just a wonderful little creation all right y'all there it is once again shout out to fishing clash for sponsoring the video head on over to your app store download fishing clash use my code fish with jared you're gonna enjoy it me and jack have been having a lot of fun playing it we talk trash to each other we see who can catch the biggest fish so we're really enjoying it and i hope you do too but i'm really gonna enjoy this taco mm. very complimentary flavors love those fresh tortillas such a good idea thank y'all again for being a part of it see you on the next one